Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Elon Greenberg. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about uh, Coda Story, which is a single topic crisis reporting platform. The ideas behind Coda Story really originated in conversations I had with other for correspondents, um, including and especially the people who would become my uh, partners in CODA. Uh, we were frustrated with, our, um, with the media's inability um, or difficulty in maintaining a sustained, focused um, storytelling. Um, and we, we looked back especially at the Arab Spring, um, which, if you remember, began with Tunisia, exploding, quickly moved on to what became uh, known as the Cedar Revolution in Lebanon and seemingly just as quickly went on to Egypt. Uh, fair enough, that's, that's what the media is supposed to do, cover the news. Um, but we, uh, we felt that there was a gap. What was left behind um, was a vacuum in character-based stories that really explore the implications of a crisis. Um, we wanted to build narratives, explore characters, um, and explain the issues after the cameras leave. Um, actually, single topic uh, uh, crisis platforms, which is, sounds so jargony, is having a bit of a moment. Um, and there are um, a few sites uh, emerging that uh, seek to really dig deep into single topics. Many of them aggregate heavily. Our emphasis is on original reporting um, and a slow news character based take uh, on, these, uh, on these crises. Um, what are some examples? The current refugee crisis in the Mediterranean, um, but it could also be the nuclear disaster in Japan or the um, earthquake in Nepal, um, the 2012 uh, Delhi gang rape um, is a um, compelling example because what we would do in that case is not, uh, is open a window into not only gender and violence in South Asia, but we would look at caste and economics and business and, and even art stories, maybe. Um, because what we're really interested in doing is connecting the nodes in a crisis and, uh, and try to show the connections um, and, the, and, the, and the, the network of implications um, that follow, um, that, are in the, that follow the, the, um, the triggering event. And to that end, we've put together a um, story discovery tool that we call Currents. Um, and Currents is about precisely that, trying to thematically organize stories. So even if you may not have a great interest in, in this example, Ukraine, uh, you could have an interest in political violence or in Russia or in the economy or in the history of East, of East Europe. And this would be a way through uh, social networks and with our partnerships with media organizations uh, to, um, to, to find these stories and have interest in them. Um, here's another view of, of the currents. Um, we're looking at immersive storytelling, video and photography, um, episodic character um, based um, uh, storytelling um, with, with data journalism, with dispatches, with, with podcasts, um, really an immersive 360 degree kaleidoscope kind of storytelling. Um, eventually, with the right funding, we hope to tell more than one story at a time. Um, uh, we're a nonprofit, by the way, so we're not seeking your investment. Um, we are seeking foundation funding, um, but we um, also want to run the company um, as a uh, business. And I'll talk about revenue streams in a moment. We've been fortunate to get some earned media. Uh, and we won a little startup competition um, this past year in Barcelona. So we feel like we're, we might be off to a good start. Um, I'm running out of time, so let me just quickly say, we, um, we feel that, uh, well, that subject matter expertise um, is one of our strengths. And while we can't be an expert in every crisis, uh, we, are, we do have a skill set uh, in, in terms of building up a network of correspondence and fixers um, and, um, and, and, and topic experts uh, to quickly build up a, uh, a team. Um, I'm going to skip this um, and go right to, we put together as part of our strategy um, a, a great board of advisors, including the founder of ProPublica, um, the creative director of, of NPR. Um, my partner, my co-founder is Natalia Antalava, who 
uh, is a longtime BBC um, foreign correspondent. I started off in uh, Hong Kong um, and later spent uh, half a dozen years in Central Asia. I won't justify that. Um, <laughs> and um, so we are, our intention is uh, to launch this fall. We're going to um, start with uh, some uh, fundraising events and uh, crowdfunding uh, to do a three-month pilot um, and eventually um, uh, put together a 12-month budget um, that will hopefully be fueled by uh, licensing white label services, conferences, and of course, foundation funding. Also, between 2 and 6 a.m., we turn CUNY J School into a discotheque in charge. <laughs> it's a secret. Don't tell the faculty. Um, and that's it. That's me, Elon Greenberg. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Do you have a question for Elon? Anyone have a question? Great. 